Let us understand how do we append a node to a linked list in this video. So when somebody says appending to a linked list, it means that they add a new node to the end of the list. So basically the process involves creation of a node and then pointing the last element of the list to that node. Now let us go through the algorithm of appending a node to a linked list along with a step-by-step -step visualization. So the first step is to create a new node. And then since this node would be the last node, we would make its next pointer as null because we are appending this node to the linked list, it would end up as a last node. Hence, we make its next pointer as null because there would not be any node after this. Now, since you need to add this node to the end of the list, you need to traverse to the last node. Remember that there is no way to randomly access an element in a linked list. Hence, you need to traverse to the last node. Now, once you reach the last node, you can access its next pointer. So naturally, what you would do is you would point the next pointer of the last node to the newly created node. And that's it. You're done with creating a new node and then appending it to the linked list. So let me go through it again. The process is quite simple. You create a new node and because you want to append this node to the end of the list, you need to traverse to the last node. So you traverse to the last node and then point the last node's next pointer to the newly created node. And that is how you append a node to a linked list. Next, we would see how do we prepend a node to a list, which means adding a node at the start of the list.